night here in the rant, you are reacting to the Millionaires Club in Congress. Mitch McConnell and John Yarmouth included, plus the LA Police Department's investigation of Justin Bieber and his friends in the night egging Bieber's neighbor's house, the neighbor claiming $20,000 worth of damage. This is Catherine, and I'm calling out of Valley Station. Anyway, what I'm calling to rant about is, you know, you're talking about Justin Bieber. Well, you know, you got a whole generation looking up to all these young celebrities like Justin Bieber and Miley Cyrus, and no wonder why they're all acting out and flash mobbing and mobbing people and everything else. So we're in a whole lot of trouble because look at their idols. My name's Carl from Greenville, Indiana. I think there's, uh, the, our lawmakers are worth about two cents. I think there should be term limits, and let's get rid of them all this next election. You know, we asked you last night what you thought about this winter so far. Too cold, too snowy, not too cold, not enough snow for you, or just a normal Louisville winter? Well, Laura in Guston, Kentucky says, Doug, I think you and I are the only ones that love the snow. We've had a few cold days, but everyone needs to remember a good winter means fewer bugs in the summer. I love winter and I'm still waiting for the snow. I would love to see at least one good snow, about four to six inches. I'm still holding out hope. Hint, hint, Monty. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Wanda in Cecilia, Kentucky. I watched the UK-Arkansas game. I was disappointed with the way the officials called the game. There were many hand-checked fouls called, and when a technical foul should have been called, it was overlooked. At the end of the game, there should have been a foul on Arkansas for storming the court when there was still time on the clock. Gene in Louisville, the last few U of L basketball games haven't been televised, at least not that I can find. I'm a die-hard fan and want to see all of their games. I'm sure there must be a lot more disappointed fans out there who would like an explanation. Well, Gene, they have been televised, but on specialty sports cable networks other than ESPN, and that means you must subscribe to those networks in order, in addition to what you have. Donna in Shepherdsville, Kentucky, why is it that every time you have a story about gas prices are up or down, well, they go up 10 to 20 cents? We are lucky that we have a store and a gas station at the end of our road that always has gas a little cheaper than everyone else. But please don't do any more stories about cheap gas. I can't afford it. Well, some U.S. bourbon companies took to Facebook this week shortly after the sale of Jim Beam to a Japanese company, reminding people they are made in America. Here's one we found. Here's what's Louisville-based Brown Foreman posted just yesterday on its Facebook page of its flagship brand, the Louisville Distilled Old Forester Bourbon. You might be able to see it, but what it says there, Old Forester, proud to be American-owned since 1870 on their Facebook page. You can send me an email on any topic you want to rant about. The address is the rant at whas11.com. And don't forget your name and town or your neighborhood. Post a message on our Facebook page. You can also find us on Twitter at whas 11 rant Or give our toll-free rant line a call from anywhere in the viewing area at 855-749-1101. It's Friday tomorrow, and your rants return right here tomorrow night.